Turnabout Target. My favorite shopping center. Hmm. Plane. I hope this is one of those stupid giga planes from the last game. Mm. With like four stories and an elevator. Why is it landing on water? It's a lake plane. Oh shit, we're in Zhengfa. No, we're we're in America. It's just they're landing from Zhengfa. And I'm mm. My dear friends, there is a reason for my visit. A few days ago, a smuggling ring that long played my name. Well, this is too fast. I won't be able to read it. That's fine. Oops. We'll start after the cutscene. Gun! Oh, shit. Oh, 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 hey, we're right at it. Oh, that's what oh, he looks yeah. like. That man! <laughs> Miles Edgeworth! If there's anyone who can solve this case, it's him. Just another fucking day for Miles Edgeworth. <laughs> I'm here. There he is. Word of this Hold must on. have reached every corner of the world by now. <laughs> An assassination attempt on the president of the Republic of Zheng Fa. My name is Miles Edgeworth. I am a prosecutor. I was asked and to. That's savvy. Hello, savvy. Oh, I was. Well, me. we're about three text blocks in. Uh, there was an assassination attempt, and now you're caught up. I was asked awesome. to. I was asked to investigate this grave incident, but upon my arrival... Can you see the playing box in the Discord? Uh, yes, I can see... Great, wanna be Gumshoe? Uh, uh yeah, what... <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me full screen. Uh, is this Gumshoe right now? Uh, yeah, this is Gumshoe talking. He's that rock monster on the left with the gaping mouth. No! Lovely. <clears throat> Mr. Edgeworth! Yeah, you got it in one. <laughs> We've been waiting for you, sir. This man is Dick Gumshoe. He's a detective with the local precinct who assists me on all cases under my jurisdiction. What is the president's current condition? I'm still not sure, sure, sir. The paramedics just entered his plane a few moments ago. I see. I hope it's nothing too serious. Very well. Detective, please show me around the crime scene. Roger that, sir. Savvy is a tiny bit quiet. Okay, cool. Let me up him. Oh, they're talking, but I can't read it right now. Hey, mister, just a minute. I'm begging you. I'm about to take this opportunity to do an announcement. Okay. Oh, little person. Hmm? Don't jump. What's this? Mister, you're the prosecutor in charge around these parts, right? Can I ask you a little something real quick? I'm afraid I must refrain from commenting for now. Let's go, detective. Is. Hey, wait, Mr. Prosecutor! Oh, man. It's hard to balance you, Siv, because you have so much yeah. echo that you, like, seem really loud. I'm sorry. Alright. Well, I'm, I'm gonna... Know, I'll keep attempting it. If there's ever a pause, I'm switching things and balancing people. Oh, hold on, Mr. Edgeworth. Wait for me, sir! Point, point. Now then, detective. Care to fill me in on the details? No, apparently no. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, look at oh this! <laughs> look at this JoJo motherfucker! <laughs> Basically. That's the president? Oh my god. Who? What, oh, what fool attempted president. to kill Hello? this man? <laughs> Basically, the whole thing happened here at God Lake Park. I, wait, is this the president? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I know. There was a big welcoming event for the president of the Pub Republic of Zhang Fa. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Edgeworth. Oh, that's me. I'm sorry. The president of Zheng Fa, Di Zhu Huang. 
As I recall, newspapers and news programs were making quite a deal over his visit. Newspaper article data jotted down in my organizer. Is that me? Hold yes, on. Yes, it's got I'm, you. It's probably hard to I see. Guess. I'm sorry. No, no. It's just I need to get this announcement done on my channel. There we go. Yeah, no, that's the only reason I haven't been paying attention for like half a second. I'm trying yeah. to plug. Cool. I'm back. Plugs are done. <laughs> it, rained, it rained a bit, but it stopped just before his plane landed. He came out and all of a sudden in the middle of his speech. Bang! A gunshot! At least, I think it was. You think? Truth is, I just got here as well. I don't know all the details, sir. So you were also called here on short notice? Yup! And today was supposed to be my day off! And I was hmm. supposed to be at the High Prosecutor's Office preparing a case for trial. The Chief Prosecutor asked for you personally, sir. The Chief Prosecutor? The Chief Prosecutor was, was taking part in the welcoming event. Apparently, the Chief called out right after the incident occurred. Call Prosecutor Edgeworth! He's the only one who can solve this case, he said. I see. So, that's what happened. After the incident, we sealed off the park right away. Which means the assassin is still in the park. Or, it's... okay. <laughs> okay. Great assumption there, Edgeworth. Feeling it. Yeah. An assassin in this crowd. This could be dangerous, sir. Is there... Oh, if there is another incident, these civilians could get in harm's way. Yeah, I'm... This is, seems like a bad idea. This is a race against time. Let's begin the investigation. First... We investigate the crime scene and gather some information. Precisely. That is basic procedure. <laughs> There's no mistaking it. The president was targeted with a gun. There is no mistaking it. Hmm. This is something I'll have to keep in mind. Detective Gumshoe! Where was security at the time of the gunfire? The police were only in charge of, the, of guarding the park's perimeter. Also, just before I forget, I'm gonna save a state since I don't have one. All right. Ooh. The president was being protected by his own personal bodyguards. It's those guys over there. Why did he try talking to him, sir? Hmm. Oh, it's, yes, it's let me let me turn <laughs> let me turn 180 degrees to the right <laughs> instead of to the left. I thought he was gonna I thought he was gonna say to talk to someone. What a daunting task. Press the, <laughs> press the A button. Never in my career have I encountered such a crime. What do you want? You are the president's bodyguards, correct? What was the president's security detail like during the speech? The president had his two best men by his side. The rest were stationed near the stage area. We are professionals. <laughs> we constantly <laughs> kept our eyes on the crowd, scanning for any signs of suspicious activity. I see. In other words, security was flawless during the president's speech. Case closed, mm. Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> they shot him. <laughs> Let's keep going. We should talk to other people and examine anything suspicious. I am a very smart prosecutor. In, oh, man. In Edgeworth is a preschool teacher. <laughs> in order to collect the remaining pieces of information from the scene of the crime. So what do you do with that info after it's squared away? I feel like this really? person has an inexplicable cockney accent. All right, hold up, hold up. I gotta move my screen because of the way I have it set up. It's too fucking dark for me to see stuff that's at the top of this text box. Someone in the, <laughs> someone in the crowd is making quite a ruckus, but I don't have time for that now. <laughs> okay, uh, cockney accent? Oh geez, gotta remember what that's like. Uh, Hi, Mr. Prosecutor! Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, tell me how, please! After gathering some pieces of information, you try to find the connections between them. Detective, do not talk to the rebel! <laughs> I know, don't be such a stick in the mud. What's this about finding connections? You connect the two <laughs> pieces of information ah. that share a link. That's Mr. Edgeworth's specialty. <laughs> it's called logic, pal. Wow. <laughs> press the <laughs> press the L button to use logic, <laughs> and the X button to connect my thoughts. It's such a shame none of this is involuntary on the part of the human body. 
I should start by pressing the L button. Not everyone has this ability. I should start by pressing the L button to use logic. Logic time! Hmm. <laughs> These games are a treat. Oh my god. I like how in the mainline Ace Attorney, there's like a little bit of plausible deniability of like, I have to remember how to be a lawyer, which is something not every human is trained to do. But this one's like, how do I think? <laughs> Oops, oh, forgot by the to way, turn on my brain switches this morning. Uh, by the way, just in case I'm missing it, is the screen share meant to be giving sound, or is it silent? Um, on your end, uh, yeah. it might be silent. Um, it's that's silent. fair. I'll, I'll pop some music on. Yeah. No, I, I might be able to. I, I was... Yeah, if you can turn it on, that would be better for immersion for us, at least. I forget how to do that. More screen share options. Um, volume. It says it's on. I'll turn it all the way up. Oh, there's nothing there's nice. nothing right now. There's no music at the second. And they were able to avoid being spotted by professional bodyguards. Can you hear it now? There's some beeps. This is no easy task. Uh, sorry, that that's on you then. This is at 100% volume. Fair enough. There had to be a certain amount of preparation beforehand. It's very likely that the president's assassination was a premeditated crime. Yeah, this doesn't just fucking happen. <laughs> I expected nothing less from Mr. Edgeworth. What brilliant logic, sir. Yes, well, when you follow the facts and find a connection, you will begin to see the truth. I am very smart. I went to smart people school. They taught me how to think. However, if the information doesn't line up properly, I may stray further away from the truth. But if I think carefully before placing, piecing the leads together, the logic should flow. Begin investigation! Okay, let's start by examining everything we can. Why is he turning into his fucking. Snaggle post or something? Oh god, I'm snaggle. I'm this motherfucker! <laughs> to examine, I approach anything that looks suspicious and press the A button. And if I want to consult with Gumshoe, I don't do anything, because I never want to consult with Gumshoe. Gumshoe's a pretty in his poopy poop. It's, it's a floater. This is... <laughs> <laughs> Not that again. I didn't die. Yeah, I was surprised too. No matter how you look at it, it's definitely... A steel a samurai. Oh, we... sorry, sir. That was your line. No, it's fine. Ace Attorney never gets tired of using their one-trick pony. The steel samurai. Warrior of New Old Tokyo. A hero from a popular TV program. Popular with both children and adults. It has broad appeal. Why would they use a steel samurai balloon at the welcoming event, sir? Well, the people who made this game have no creativity. Perhaps he was chosen as the hero to represent our country. I won't rest until I've saved the steel samurai. Until I've inspected <laughs> every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Oops. There's nothing of interest here. But, whoa, okay, hang on. The controls for this game are a little different. <laughs> oh boy. Edgeworth just starts tripping over himself. Oh, okay. Poor Steel Samurai Balloon. It looks so miserable. Indeed. What did it do to deserve such a fate? According to the witnesses, a gunshot was heard when the balloon popped. God, I hope the killer was inside the balloon. Oh, oh that's gonna be awesome. It's just like, we're going to need to look for the person with the high-pitched voice from Helium. <laughs> <laughs> did a bullet from the gun hit the Steel Samurai Balloon? Maybe it was an assassination attempt on the Steel Samurai! To desecrate the Steel Samurai like this. This is a serious crime. <laughs> yeah, fuck that prison guy, who cares? Edgeworth is already more fun in this game than they wa he was in the last. I did not care for how they localized him as Gumshoe, you dumb motherfucker. And like, that's clearly <laughs> not their relationship. Detective, we must not let this reprehensible assassin get away with this. Of course, sir! This is the most important piece of evidence. I want to look at that. Okay. Somewhere in the right side of the stage, it has ruptured. Okay, I, I wasn't sure if it was going to let me, like, actually inspect it. Some flowers. These flowers were delivered from a foreign country. I don't even know their names. Yeah, my favorite flowers are roses and carnations. Because when I see roses, I think of weddings! Really? And when I see carnations, I think of birthday parties. You're probably just thinking about all of the cake you're allowed to eat. P please don't be blunt about it, sir. I'm always thinking about cake. 
Look at the hole and get flag. It's the flag of the Republic of Zheng Fa. Its symbol appears to be a phoenix motif. Hm. This is... What is it, sir? Haven't you noticed? There's an unusual spot on this flag. Compare it to the flag on the opposite side of the stage. Hmm. There isn't a speck of dirt on it. This flag is spotless, sir. Yes. That is what the flag is supposed to look like. However, there is one spot on this flag that is out of place. W where is it, sir? Please explain it so <laughs> I can understand. I feel like this translation is very straightforward. What a helpless <laughs> man! I, su <laughs> I suppose I should point it out to him. Move the cursor to the unusual spot on the flag. Do you think Edgeworth has to, like, manually move his eyes? <laughs> <laughs> it just turns just on the logic it circuits slowly. and manually moves its arms and arms and legs. It's so it's hard. It's a hard day to be a robot. It's so hard to be a robot. There is an unusual hole in this flag. Oh, you're right! Oh, I thought that was a random spot of gack. Okay. Judging yep. from the burn marks around the hole, it appears to be a bullet hole. A bullet hole? Then the bullet from the gun must have gone through the flag! Hmm. I seem to have gathered a few pieces of pertinent information. Now to calmly use some logic and figure out if any of them are connected to each other. Okay. Ah, yes. Let me sit down and use logic actively without actually having to, <laughs> having to put everything. Let me sit and have me my thinky thing. Damn it. Why is this so hard? Gumshoe, I had a thought. As a result of the gunshots, there is a bullet hole in a flag and a... <laughs> <laughs> that was a very four kids read. There is a bullet hole in a flag and a ruptured balloon. That must mean two shots were fired, sir. It could, no. no, it could easily have been one. They're, those are both very easy materials to pass through. If we include the shot that hit the president, it's possible that three shots were fired in total. No, it's also possible that the flag and the balloon were punctured by the same bullet. If only we could be certain about the number of gunshots. If only there were several witnesses. If only there was an entire crowd of them, sir. Oh well. Now then, let's continue the investigation. Hmm? Hey, Mr. Prosecutor! If you find anything new, could you please let me know? I've been wondering for a while now, but who exactly is that woman? Oh, I thought it was a little boy. Was a no, I thought it was a little boy too, and I was like, wait, maybe Same. it's a lady. I don't know. <laughs> I thought she was just a nosy onlooker, but it looks like she's investigating too. Please, I'm begging ya! Mm. In order to figure out how many shots were fired, we'll need to talk to a witness. It can't be helped. Let's try talking to her. A basic oh aspect. Oh, you're you're absolutely K in a shitty disguise. Oh, that is just her. I like her bear trap though. <laughs> yeah, I like her bear trap. Straight ah, up. Mr. Prosecutor. The name's Nicole Swift. Just between you and me, this case is going to be my exclusive scoop. Exclusive? Miss Swift, is it? Uh, could you tell me what you witnessed during... So how's your investigation coming along? Okay, why are you fucking with me? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all get a suspect yet? Where'd you get that frilly doohickey around your neck? Hold it! Could you please stop talking for a moment? I will be the one asking the questions. What is this, an interrogation? I reckon I was going to get myself in an interview. Someone says, no, it's not, Kay. All right, I guess the artist just has a bad case of same face. Yep. Aww. I'd like to know how many gunshots were fired. Can you please tell me what you saw? Can't see gunshots with your ears, Edgeworth. No. Not unless you got special eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, um, I ain't telling you nothing. What? My life depends on info. I ain't giving it up that easily. I respect that they didn't make this character a lot of heart. Yes. Don't be selfish, pal. Won't you please cooperate with us? Selfish? If you ain't gonna share no info with me, then I'm gonna go get it from somewhere elsewhere. Wait a minute, pal! If I wait, are you gonna give me what I want? If not, adios, amigos. She won't budge. We're at a stalemate here. A stalemate? I wonder about that. <laughs> what do you mean, sir? As you know, gummy bears if you let us do what we want. As, <laughs> as you know, chess is one of my hobbies. Uh, yeah, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? How does one go on the offensive against a defensive opponent? A gun. There are many tactics available on the chessboard. 
Really? I don't know that much about chess. Who'd have thought? I prefer checkers. Even if it appears to be a flawless defense, there is always an opening. Observe, as I break down her defense with my words! I, I legit thought it said swords. <laughs> In order to get her to talk, I'll need to use the right strategy. Using the image of a chess game, I need to stay one step ahead of my opponent. Tap, tap. Tap, tap. Now I am in the chess dimension. Oh my god, is this gonna be like fucking Code Geass chess? Are they gonna do this shit? Now then, oh let's god. analyze the situation. Until you give me some info, my trap sealed shut. Oh. She ha clack, look at my little thing. She has her guard up. So this is her defensive strategy. <laughs> so in case it wasn't clear, none of us have ever played this game before, so this is hilarious. Yeah. If I waste too much time, she may grow impatient. I need to pay attention to the time limit. Beep, beep. Oh, God. The chess dimension waits for no man. I must not be careless with my words. When my opponent becomes agitated or aggressive... Cho Jolly, talking, you stubborn as a mule! For example, during times like this, I should calmly wait and see how things play out. The moment my opponent shows an opening, I'll be able to strike. First, I should ask about her identity. Now, let us begin! Logic Chess! <laughs> your occupation? First, could you tell me your occupation? I've actually heard this song before, I really like it. No way, if I told you then you might get the wrong idea. The wrong idea. In other words, it's a job that you cannot tell others about. I, I never said that. I ain't some kind of suspicious person. You... L Haven't you realized it yet? I have you cornered! <laughs> What's going on with you? I don't get what you're saying at all. You just ah, throw that at me. That was a needless statement! <laughs> When the opponent is agitated, I must calmly wait and see. But when they let their guard down, I mustn't hesitate to strike. Oh, good, we get to do this again. Let's wait and see. Oh, do I'm just your run of the mill model citizen. Please excuse my rudeness. I did not mean to offend you. I may not know the details of your job, but I'm sure it's a reputable one. You might be giving me too much credit there. I ain't even done any major articles yet. Prepare to die, lady! <laughs> I heard you mention articles just now. Could we not have inferred she was a reporter by her saying she was getting a scoop? Does your job involve writing articles by any chance? <laughs> Take it. Nope. That's right. I'm an investigative reporter. Bonafide up and coming news journalist. I see. A reporter. She may already have some information about the case. You know, I'm gonna try one more time to see if I can like somehow get you guys the audio because not I was actually just looking that up. Um yeah. when you do the initial screen share, there's apparently a toggle in the top right. Check if that mm. is on sound. Uh toggle top right. Yeah, so when when you like initially bring up the screen of like please screen share this application. All right, I'll I'll stop screening and start it over. Um Cool. Stop sharing your screen, turn on screen share. Uh application window, sound is on. Hmm. Sound is on and volume's at full. Okay, so then I feel like it might be on our end. Uh I'm going to leave and come back then. Yeah. Okay. You might also have to like uncheck some box somewhere of like yeah, imagine how fucking yeah. awful it would have been if neither of us came back <laughs> <Just that's the laughs> end. okay uh voice and video uh anybody in chat know real quick yeah that would be you guys will hear noise because you're getting audio from jello's um obs like you're getting it yeah. from him but we're we're watching him play it over uh over discord screen share so we can get it at the same time that he's getting it yeah um, yeah, I'll give this, like, another second. Stream remote. No? no? Voice and video. You know what it might be? What? Maybe it's that it's outputting the audio through, like, 
my my fancy mic XLR box, and it's like so like Discord thinks it should be picking up that, but it's not. I don't know. Does this here try that? Can you hear that? Oh, I won't be able to hear you anymore. Give me two seconds. Okay, can, I, can you guys say words? Can you can you hear anything or no? Did that not make a difference? Okay, I'm gonna try one more thing and then I. Sorry, I just gotta give up. Um, move that back here. User settings, voice input. Yes, microphone there. Scarlet. Um, I don't know. Let's try. Whoa. Let's try default. Mmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what I can do if it's you're not hearing it. Yeah, I got nothing. All right. You guys still there? I cannot hear you talking anymore for some reason. Hang on. Thank you for your patience, chat. Uh, voice and video. All right, try now. Hello. Yeah, there you are. Hi. Hello. All right. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Yeah, no, you guys can hear everything because you're getting it from my end. It's just Discord isn't transitioning the music for some reason. I'm going to try one more thing. I don't know why this would work. Stop sharing your screen. Uh, I am going to try... Let's try sharing my entire screen. Okay, I'm down for yeah. that. Is that anything? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. All right, then nothing will work. Rip. Rip in pieces. Okay. Um, let me undo that because it looks terrible. All right. Well, I tried. You did. Oh well, we did. You did your best. Okay. She may ha already have some more information about the case. This will be my next line of questioning. Ah, my Mega Man boss mater came back up. This is where the real battle begins. I need to draw out even more information from her. Uh, did you witness the incident? Were you present at the time the incident occurred? Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, how about some of that info you promised me? No, ladies first. I insist. Tells you my trap sealed shut. You ain't getting my info that easily. Talk or I'll arrest you. This is my livelihood here. Please, I'm begging you. If you stick your head in too deep, you may be putting yourself in danger. I'm a pro after all. These gunshots don't scare me. Hm. I'll admit, you're dedicated to your job. However, you still have much to learn. The fact that you heard the gunshots clearly means you were present during the incident. Edward, you're kind of a jackass, man. You must have seen something. Die! Bastard again. Just happened to be here covering the speech, and that's when it all went south. I'm reading it too fast. Fuck. It's all I swear. I ain't saying another word. So what about this is chess? So, she was here to write an article about the speech. She should still have the material she gathered for her article. Mm. Quick, Gumshoe, mug her. This, <laughs> this could be a useful clip. You said it, boss. You said that you're a reporter. Did you come here to gather news material? If you want to know that fact, give me some info first. No, you first. Yeah. Show me what you've gathered. Honest to Betsy, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, she's definitely supposed to have some kind of accent. I just don't know what it is. Let me try... I'll try Southern. I'll try Southern. No, I'm, Let I'm me... Tr God. She's been saying a lot of things that sound like they could be Cockney, to be honest. We just gotta wait till she says core blimey, you know. Uh, you must still have the materials, I guess. I'm going to throw this horse at you. Are you telling me <laughs> that you came to gather material and you left empty-handed? You should still have the materials you collected with you. Die! Get him! Oh, it's, it is! It it's is so I'm telling I'm a pro, I collect info with my own two feet. That's why I ain't giving up with 
Without a fight. Why is... We already have a Southern reporter. Why would they localize her as Southern again? We just don't want to have a lot of heart back on screen. You know what? That's all right. As the prosecutor in charge of this case, I am making a serious plea for your cooperation. Don't you mess with me. I ain't handing over and that's final. I am just messing with you! <laughs> oh, you can't make it this tempting. Please understand where I'm coming from, Mr. Prosecutor. Being a reporter is a tough job, isn't it? Ah, uh, so you're finally getting it. How has your job performance been? Um, well... I'm always trying to be the best reporter I can be. This here tape recorder... I always carry it by my side. Yeah, I was gonna say, we're gonna have to listen to gunshots. Yeah. I'm not interested in that! Oh, okay. Slap! Let me listen to the tape! <laughs> give! Give to baby! <laughs> Do I try to throw this fucking porn at you? I see. I heard throw this porn at you. If you're, if you're trying <laughs> to... All? If you're trying to be the best reporter that you can be, then it would be unnatural for you not to have collected any news materials. You recorded it on your tape recorder, didn't you? The information regarding this case! Oh, don't got it! There goes my exclusive scoop! That's right, I have it on my tape recorder. All the information I recorded from my article is right here. Hmm. It's Checkmate! Me. I threw That's not how chess works! Yes, it is. You throw your pieces against the others like it's fucking crazy bones until they explode. Chess. <laughs> LOGIC CHESS COMPLETE! God damn. That's amazing, Mr. Prosecutor. Before I knew it, you done had me chattering like a chipmunk. Yeah, it's Southern. Yeah. yeah. Let me hear what you have on the tape recorder. If I oh. listen to the tape with my ears, I'll be able to hear things. But I have to constantly be thinking about what I'm hearing, otherwise I can't see. Here by holding the <laughs> R button. The exact number of gunshots. Fine, but I won't let you have it for free. Other than my mentor, you're the only person to push me this far. In other words, you're gonna be my second mentor. Yep, that's how it's gonna be. I see. It's kind of like a second home, sir. <laughs> no, what? that's not what I said at all. And I got one more request. A 24-hour exclusive interview. What the fuck? Please, Mr. Prosecutor. This is my first and final request as your apprentice. I, you know what? <laughs> Fucking Wait. shot in the dark, call it. This girl is going to be a major antagonist in the final case. I have Ooh. no reason to think that. I just want to... Pick your fucking She's just going to drop in and make everyone's life difficult during the case. This least. seems... I, I know the team that wrote this wrote the other Investigations game and uh, Dual Destinies and Spirit of Justice, all of which are like weird, super political, like wide-sweeping conspiracy games. So I like to imagine she's like fu a fucking rando who will come back way later in the game. Her mentor is probably Lot of Heart. Oh my god, I hope you're wrong. <laughs> but you're right. This is you're difficult right. to accept, but unless I agree to it, I won't be able to listen to the tape. 24 hours is out of the question, but I will grant you an interview after we solve this case. Like two hours, maybe. <laughs> what about being my second mentor? Also out of the question. <laughs> Don't be so ornery. Well, I guess take what you get. It's all for the sake of my new scoop. Time to get the ball rolling. Let's begin our exclusive coverage. Well then, Miss Swift, please begin the playback of the tape recorder for me. This will be great for you guys. Click. Monday morning. Today, I all right, speed it up a little. Bacon. All right. <laughs> My dear friends, there is a reason for my visit. I, why am I doing this, Savvy? Can you be Muscle Man President? Can you be? Can you be of all course. my all my president? Oh wait. Oh, okay. All my. Hold on. <clears throat> He's the same guy as uh, Louise Alexander yes, Armstrong, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> this has been passed down my family for generations. A few days ago, a smuggling ring that has long plagued my nation was exposed and crushed. I see. This was the president's speech. The president. I, I don't know who this is. No, this this is you, Siv. Oh, he's deflating the rumors flying around about a recent deadlock decline, and she spoke too fast. This was my own commentary. I tried to create the feeling of actually being there. Hmm. According to the schedule, there is a meeting after this. 
she seemed quite pleased that the Yadagarasu incident has been resolved. Who the fuck am I talking to? Well, of, well, of course. It's a great honor for us as well. Whose voice is this? Those are from the folks standing in front of me. I reckon it was two older men. Oh, okay, they're men. They kept on whispering to each other. Where have I heard whispering before? Oh, the gunshot's coming up. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> raises his fist in the air. The atmosphere's boiling to a fever pitch. However, the battle is still not over. I declare, here and now, the hammer of justice shall be brought down upon all evil. Bang! Bang! bang. Yeah, all right. Wh what incarnation? Whoa! 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 whoa. I'm dead. After that, I'm, I'm not. James now. <laughs> <laughs> it seems that two shots were fired. Eh, hey, what do you reckon? That two shots were fired. I just said. No, I think you said that in your head. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's quite simple, really. Using the bullet's trajectory, we can deduce its flight path. We we don't know its trajectory though. You, you just. Uh... Two shots were fired. One bullet hit the president. That means the other shot left a hole in the flag and punctured the balloon. Do you understand now the location of the perpetrator who fired the gun? The bullet that struck both the flag and the balloon was fired from here. You know, I I really hope it's here and it just got fired. I hope it's... Well, I mean, like... I don't... It, it could be anywhere along... I'd be... It could be anywhere He's along this line. Guts. He's got some fucking guts if he just does it in the in the fucking middle aisle. I so like I'm thinking top left, right? Well, no, because like top top left. Top top. Well, that doesn't make any. It has to be along this line because it hit both of oh, these that objects. Line? Okay, okay. Yeah, we're yeah. looking. But like, I mean, they could be here. This is the most notable spot in this line. I uh, whatever. I have a lot of life. It's case one. <laughs> Oh yeah, the one thing we forgot to tell you about is that the president hauled out a gun halfway through and shot that guy. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a wrong thing. Over here. That's right. The perpetrator definitely fired his gun from here. Um, did bullets really hit their mark there? Yes. It's Mr. Edgeworth we're talking about here, pal. I'm sure he has amazing, amazing logic to back it up. And when it's all said and done, he'll show you another one of his brilliant deductions. I'm looking forward to it myself. Come on, Mr. Edgeworth. Do your thing! Uh, wait a second. Uh, let you me want think. You to do a little monkey hmm. dance for you, Gumshoe? Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, don't push yourself too hard now. Oh, I've been barely insulted! Oh, this isn't <laughs> the right spot. Two shots were fired. I'm certain of it. If I follow... Am I am I trying to find a spot that they could have fired both of the bullets from? Oh, the, yeah. when the two paths cross, that's not the prompt! The... F yeah, okay, asshole. That was not the prompt at all. The bullet that struck both the flag and balloon was fired from here could very easily mean only this line. I'm guessing inside the balloon. It's it's not gonna let you. Cause that's too clever. That's too that's too far along. You gotta you gotta put pieces together first. You've gotta point out the lantern, then talk about the oil. Uh... Yes. Oh, also, uh, in general, chat, since this is a blind playthrough, I don't want you to outright spoil anything, but I have no shame in eventually just going, fuck it, if you know it, tell me. Because that'll make it faster. Yeah. Um, you know, this I'm is... I'm thinking the corner of the barriers, to be honest. All right. Yeah, there. All right. Nope. Nah. Load state. It'll be faster. <laughs> Okay. Left. Don't focus Bottom on the blue. Trees, maybe. But like it, it could be anywhere in this line. The like, trees. That's the bottom left trees. Yes. What? Why there? It could have been anywhere in the line. That's not even where I pressed. All right. <laughs> by connecting he was the. Hiding in the trees. By connecting the bullet marks from the flag and the balloon, we learn the bullet's trajectory. It's likely that the bullet was fired from the left side of the audience area. I mean, I guess. Uh, 
Oh, sorry, I was taking. I was, I was the over here what eating ladybugs. <laughs> I can't Sorry. help myself, Miss Edgeworth. Sorry, I'm, I've lost my thing. Detective Gumshoe, I would like to investigate the fireplace. I'd like to investigate the left side of the audience arena. Yes, sir. Wait, you mean we have to move all these people? Yes. There's no time. We could be losing vital evidence for every second we let slip by. We must hurry! Yes, sir! Mentor number two! Hey! Two. You know my name. Yeah, yes, Miss Swift. I assume you are addressing me. First mentor number two. This is my time to shine. I'm an expert at crowd dispersal. Light the torches, release the hounds, and run them down. What the fuck? Jesus. Jesus I Christ. appreciate your I'm help. Kill a man. But please do not use those methods. Also, please stop addressing me as your mentor. I never agreed to that position. I hear you. I'll try to keep that in mind, mentor. <laughs> I mean, Mr. Prosecutor. <sighs> <laughs> oh, my legs. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth! We're ready to begin the investigation, sir. You'd have to be firing really wildly to hit both the flag and balloon and the president from the middle or right area around the same time. But the immediate prompt they're asking for is just where was this specific line of two fired from? They don't even ask you about the president until you get it wrong. Miss... Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> Hey, don't step on my line. Miss Swift here was all over the crowd helping us write him up, sir. Hey, you say nothing compared to my first mentor's mob wrangling skills. She seems to be used to this sort of thing. However, Miss Swift, all that running around seems to have caused your clothes to fall off boobs to become covered with mud. I'll take care of your cleaning bill if you like. Uh -huh. Oh, you're talking about my parka? Don't you worry your fancy little head about it. It's reversible, so you just flip around later. It's good as new. I'm going to have mud all over me. It'll be great. I won't do much for mud stains, though. I'll be happy. What you, know, what you don't know can't hurt you. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, let's restart the investigation, sir. The crowd has made a mess of the crime scene. I hope some traces of the criminal are still left behind. Wouldn't it be great if it just panned over and there was just a criminal sitting there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I have to talk to Winston Payne. This is a terrible incident indeed, Mr. Edgeworth. Who is this man again? I, Winston Payne, am willing to assist as a prosecutor. <laughs> He's a prosecutor? Why did you come here today? <laughs> I accompanied the chief prosecutor. Hmm? His voice sounds like the one that I heard on the tape earlier. Was he one of the men standing in front of Miss Swift? And where is the chief now? The chief is a busy man. He had special permission to leave the premises. The chief called me here and then left by himself. I'm not completely satisfied with this. Let's put it Winston Payne chief. in the garbage can. <laughs> Dunked. Y'all need to get through the garbage? You prosecutors got a tough job. Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> <laughs> right, right away, sir. Dives in. I found the sniper the rifle! It's detective's job to go through the trash! Prosecutors don't want to dirty their hands. Hmm, let's see. I hope I find something good. Oh, oh boy! Burger. Breakfast! <laughs> oh, well, we all went to the same place. <laughs> the detective seems to be a little too eager about searching through the trash. This... this is... a winning popsicle stick! Detective. S sorry, sir. Let's see something related to the case hmm look what i found sir yes the fanny pack. yes good work let's have a closer look There's i like need 50 dollars in here i need to view this object from various angles to uncover the truth hidden within yes sir just give me the world and <laughs> spin the evidence around and around i refuse to touch it with my pretty little hands gumption has got any big stupid gorilla hands he's like <laughs> no a little a little more to the right around no my right come on gumshu oh, if only there was a better way to do this <laughs> my logic circuits won't allow it however if you want to zoom in and out i'll, I'll move the evidence for you it's just moving it All right, the image of this is fucking hysterical. Oh my god. 
If you find uh, something suspicious, please let us know immediately, sir. I'll close my eyes during this so I'll have no idea. <laughs> so you can get all the credit. All right, let's give it a try. Hey, have you ever been such a bad detective that you've been relegated to UI? <laughs> it's a document of some sort. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. President's security detail. These are the plans for the president's security, sir. Why is it on a fucking napkin? It, it depicts the security layout. The bodyguard's not, names are written here, too. Oh, good. It's a chess motif, my actual <laughs> least favorite. Rook and Knightly. Hmm? The bodyguards... That was really their fucking name? The bodyguards are not from the Republic of Zheng Fa? Nicole! Oh, sorry, I was drawing a picture. It seems like the president's hired a local security firm. Why didn't he use the police force of Zheng Fa? You want to know the reason? That's another big scoop. Do you know something about it? Nope. <laughs> I was just at the Zheng Fa embassy the other day fixing to get some news material. Aye, that place sucks. That's what I heard. It sounds like the president's got plenty of enemies. We also don't get along too well with the top brass of the Zheng Fa police. I see, he's too powerful. He doesn't even no. trust the, peop the people of his own country. <laughs> this could be related to the assassination attempt. Yeah, it's a security detail, and you've seen wow. to be... Wow! It's... Wow! Eventually, my eyes will move a few degrees to the left and see the gun in that bag. But why would this document be in the bag? Who... Why? That is strange indeed. It concerns the safety of the president. Normally, it would be under tight security. Hmm? This bag. There's something else in it, sir. Why, don't you, why don't you turn it upside down so it will fall out and we can find out what it is? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, my God! I was ready! Oh, no. I wasn't joking. There was a gun in there. It's a gun with a scope. Guys, it's a gun, it's sir! It's a scope! Oh, Mr. Edgeworth, could this bag have belonged to the... Indeed. This is, by the way, terrible place to try and throw away evidence. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. It is possible that the assassin may have thrown it away. It's a revolver for something like this to appear in a place like this. I feel like you could have phrased that better. Is this the work of a professional assassin? No! He must have used that <laughs> document to carry out the crime, sir. I mean... If he got paid, he's professional, but I wouldn't call him good. This revolver. Detective, I need to investigate it. Can you turn it around and around in your big gorilla hands and move it closer and further to my face? <laughs> Zooms sure, out hold to on. Let me get my hands on, on the hands. pistol grip. Zooms out to get... gumshoe fucking aiming a pistol at Edgeworth two inches away, then three inches away, then two <laughs> inches away. This revolver. Damn it, that was the joke I was going for. Hmm. <laughs> Yes, point- You mean like this, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes. Now if you could <laughs> zoom in just a little bit. All right! Hmm. Mm, yes, and if you could test you out the trigger- You order type. Sure are weird, but- Please get more you fingerprints. You wanna look at it too? This gun fired- no. This gun fires two bullets. Fired two bullets. That matches the number of gunshots heard. This must be the murder weapon, sir! See, this is my problem with the first game, is like everything, like- you know, you find the gun, the base assumption is it's the same gun. Like, I didn't need to look here and get this little side information, right? Like, <laughs> but Jello, what if Please, somebody get was- your fingerprints on this, Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> this is a laser pointer. It's an implement you attach to a gun to help you aim with a laser, sir. Just press here and- Bang. It's firing a red laser, sir! Zooms out, he's just shooting Edgeworth in the eye with it directly. Yes, my robot lenses have acknowledged this. Did the assassination use this laser pointer to target the president? You think he would have known it? What a bad idea! In a crowd? I'm also just a little- I'm just a little bit- pissed off that it's a goddamn revolver as well. This bag is provided with lots of useful evidence. Dumpster diving really paid off, sir. Good work, detective. I have one more request. Please tell the forensics team to check the gun and the bag for fingerprints. Well, I'm pretty sure I fucked that up. <laughs> yes, got, sir. It got really difficult to see the real fingerprints after I put my gorilla mitts all over them and rotated them in midair for your benefit. 
Well, I can't. Hold on, this thing's a little grody. Let me just wipe it down. You know, Mr. Edgeworth, you don't have fingerprints being a robot. If you turn the bag around, it wouldn't be a problem. I'm not allowed to touch human objects. That's why I float three centimeters off the ground at all times. <laughs> 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 if we can obtain fingerprints, it would be a huge breakthrough in our investigation. I've got the results back already, sir. What? Are you what? shitting me? The, that was fast? Of course. I made them double time it. Alright, that's actually, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's funny. Unfortunately, we couldn't find any finger- that or they just didn't fucking look at it. You know what that means. The assassination is one like me. Are you certain you did a thorough search? Of course. We combed every inch. We even took out the bullets and examined them, sir. I love how fast that was. As expected, this won't be easy. It is case one, after all. <laughs> 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 Damn it! Like My inability to touch human objects is blocking me. <laughs> if only I could float more than three centimeters off the ground. Maybe, say, three and a half feet? Hmm? Hello, hi, nothing. mommy. You are with the television crew, are you not? Oh, uh, 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 that's right, but... Then you must have recorded the speech. I'd like to see the footage. Y yeah, uh, about that. That'll be difficult. What was that, pal? It's your duty as a citizen to cooperate with the investigation. After the incident, the guests knocked over the TV camera in the panic. All the footage was lost. If there was... It doesn't fucking happen! If there was any footage left, it would have been vital evidence. It's a shame it fell over and <laughs> deleted all the footage. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad that we still work our fucking cassettes. Yeah, Ace Attorney. Uh... <laughs> what, what was that? Oh boy, I bet. Is, is, is this Kay? Oh. That voice. Yeah. It is. Kay, get down. <laughs> Kay. <laughs> Kay. Bye. I, I love that she <laughs> came in on the van, jumped off, and then went, ooh, better respect this fucking red velvet tape, and went all the way around. <laughs> oh my god. Edgeworth, the hero of justice, Kay Faraday, is here to save the day. Hero. We don't need you here. I guess she wouldn't refer to herself as a heroine. I don't, I don't, I genuinely don't understand why he said that. Uh -huh. So, have you given up this great thief business yet? Nope, I haven't stopped. I'm just on vacation. Have you actually stolen anything? Because you never did in the first game. <laughs> I'm still dreaming to become the second Yadagrasu. With who? About two weeks ago. Oh, two weeks ago? Two weeks ago? Oh, all right. This is very immediate after the previous game. About two weeks ago, this girl became involved in one of my cases. The mysterious phantom thief, the Yatagarasu. The case of a gentleman thief who steals the truth for the sake of justice. This girl is the successor to that great thief who turned out to be three people, all of whom were criminals. If you need to pick a lock or untie a rope, leave it to me. But, uh, since I'm still in training, I haven't actually stolen anything yet. Oops. What? I love that little sprite where she's smiling. That one's What funny. are- what do you do while training? My training's my only complete best. once- <laughs> My training's only complete once I find the lock that fits my stupid hair key. <laughs> Kay, what are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I wanted to join in the festivities. She does seem to have a fondness for these kind of events. You I'm attracted murder. to the smell of murder. Afterwards, I thought I'd come and meet up with you guys. Oh, you should hang out with my friend Phoenix. Well, we're glad <laughs> to see you. You look like you've been doing well, pal. It's been a while, Gummy. Are you two a robot who is broken? Hooray, robot friend. <laughs> Kay. Wait, you aren't levitating. <laughs> Okay, you said earlier I'm you could. Closer. I'm underground. <laughs> what the fuck? She's <laughs> clipping through the floor. <laughs> That's how she uses her thief power. She clips through the floor. <laughs> I took a photo of that capture. I took a photo that captures the exact moment of the crime. Yeah, I was here too. I see. Could you show it to us at once? The same as usual. I see. Can't you act even a little surprised? Yeah, that prosecutor's always in a sour mood. 
Oh, this is gonna be good. He even got annoyed when I called him my second mentor. Like, oh, it's not me, okay. right? These two are, like, so similar oh, yeah, looking. Yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. by the way, I'm Nicole Swift. Up and come and investigate the corner. Nice to meet you. Nicole. Oh, that's your name. Yeah, Mr. Edwards really... Enough idle chatter. Can you please just show us the photo? Fine, here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> God, wow, just the like... fucking neck is broken. You know what's amazing is like, at first you look at Muscle Man's weird face, then you look at Square Guy, and you just like keep... Your eye just keeps changing between faces, and they're oh, all so great. Many presents here. This oh is fantastic. This is a photo. I, oh, this is gay. Yeah, I know. I already read Oh, that I'm sorry. Out. I was so distracted. <laughs> yeah. It was awful. Everyone in the audience was running in panic. This photo depicts the president and his two bodyguards. <laughs> Judging by the names written on these security plans, these two must be Rook and Knightly. Oh, they're designed to look like their profiles oh. look like a Rook and a horse. Okay. Hmm. What is this? You could be looking at anything. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kay. This will be a very important clue. Oh, you got that sharp look in your eyes. Hey, why are you in this case? <laughs> I don't know yet. Did you find something, Mr. Prosecutor? Usually if there's a rando in case one, they're the only rando and they're the murderer. <laughs> in this photo, there is a contradiction. These could not possibly be humans. <laughs> this photo, I don't see nothing. If you don't understand, then I'll show you. The screen, oh, the scene captured in this photo and the evidence I have on hand. By comparing the two, I'll find the contradiction. It's time for my deductive skills to come into play. First, I'll keep talking instead of letting the player actually do anything. Oh, I can't look sorry, at my like, evidence? Well? Sorry, I love, I love, like, he goes, let me show you what's wrong with this. 30 minutes later. <laughs> so many enchanters goes, the guy on the left is from the Django dimension. <laughs> um, I... I genuinely have no idea. Point out the contradiction. Okay, it's ruptured. Uh, two gunshots, but like we know where they went, so that's not really a contradiction. Bullet trajectory. I, I mean, like this, but he also got shot. He just fired it twice. That's not a contradiction. Yeah. Do you have uh? Do you have the two bald uh, dudes that were the security guards as the? Uh, uh no. I I don't think that's it. Shot. I I think they were just randos because they said like he was next to his two right hand men, and I, that's these guys. Pay extra attention to the lake area. Hold on. Why does it say at the bottom, a terrorist in the audience? We can't be certain there isn't one. You know how it <laughs> is. In the case of an emergency, Knightley will lead the president inside the plane. Rook stand, take, what, Rook takes Knightley's place. Rook takes Knightley's place. What does that mean? It's, it's the newspaper. Okay. Oh, clicked off of the game window. Let's look at the newspaper. Check. Plane lands on Gord Lake. Uh. Is he wearing a different outfit? I. I wish I could compare. No, no I genuinely don't uh, see how it could be the newspaper. It it looks normal. He doesn't have a red spot on his head. Well, that's. <laughs> how can you take the newspaper Wait, that, is, is that the, is oh that the contradiction? God, Are you kidding? That's the fuck off. Fuck you. That's obviously the laser. I that's the base assumption. I don't need to tell the game I figured that out. Show your work. I hate the investigations game. Mrs. Swift. Oh, this we know it's the moment of the gunshot cuz Kay told us that. All right. This newspaper contains a photograph of the president. Uh, well, thank you so much, chat, for fucking telling me. I never yeah, would have we gotten Yeah, that. we wouldn't have fucking picked that up. Jesus. That's awful. I'd like you to compare it with the photo. This is like, hmm, what do we think happened at this scene? And like getting a photo of the victim alive and then of them dead and pointing to be like, they're dead in this photo. What? Oh, no fucking way. Uh, hmm, what do you mean? That's inexcusable. That's oh, you mean the bullet on his head? This game gets better. It fucking better. That's right. 
there's something on the president's forehead that was. There might be something there that wasn't there before. Is that a. Um, fuck you, Gumshoe. Is that a mole? Mm hmm. It certainly looks like a red mole. <gasps> red mole? Red mole? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? I'm mad. I am mad. I'm, I'm, I'm actually. What the fuck? My hands are sweating. Red mole. <laughs> Red mole. God, I didn't think we'd find our fucking ink this early. That's foolish. Mother God. It's hard to believe that a mole would pop out of thin air like that. Maybe a bug bit him, sir. Gumshoe, oh. please. That awful. I thought you were onto something. Turns out it's just an itty bitty bug bite. I. Are you kidding me? I have no brain. You're talking with such a serious look on your face. I'm getting all excited. Oh, what a shame. It appears a red mole has appeared on everyone else here's <laughs> forehead. Nothing to worry about. Bang. <laughs> the way to the truth. Oh, so I want to point out, some people have told me this is the best Ace Attorney game. Like, that's a pretty popular opinion in the series. It always begins with small contradictions. Ooh, that's a good way of putting it. I'll be with God. Holy shit. No wonder logic is a superpower. What that? I have to connect that? All right. Red Mole, what could it be? I'm waiting for some more dumb fucking dialogue here. Bring it. I've Give solved it the mystery of the Red Mole. It took me five seconds. Oh, you mean it's not a bug bite, sir? Bang. It's nothing like a bug bite or an itchy rash. This is the light from a laser pointer. You mean a gun was aimed at the president's forehead? Yeah, come shoot, keep up. And, a and right after that, the second gunshot was heard. That's certainly more than just an itch, sir. In okay, uh, that's a pretty good line. Indeed. I'm concerned for the president's well-being becoming more and more likely that this gun was the weapon used in the attack. We already got it back from forensics, right? All right. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that means someone was trying to kill the president? <laughs> what? Why did the criminal use a laser pointer, sir? It's gotta be to, held in there long to enough to bore a hole into his head. That's right. They would have had a beam of light shining from their hands. <sighs> Too conspicuous. Conspicuous. <laughs> Man, you read that pew so perfectly, too. And, and if you follow the path of the laser, you will find out who fired the shot. That's no that's not good at all. Oh yeah, I also took some other photos. <laughs> Maybe the light from the laser pointer was captured on those. Thanks Thank you. for the cap, copycat. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna open that up in another thing and watch it later. Yeah. Maybe a long shot, but there's a chance. Okay, could you show us those photos? Oh, I already ate them. Sorry. Come right up. First, hmm. the photo from before the incident. I already ate them, and now they're gone, and I don't know what happened. Hmm, logic. K ate the photos. Logic, the photos are gone. I might have to deduce something here. Hmm. That's a cute hey! photo. That's cute. That's cute, it is. Your face is taking up most of the frame. Hehe, <laughs> I wanted to get a two shot of me and the president. It's just a tea. I'm having a hard time today, but it's okay. This was taken a little before the gunshots. I love that the guy, you can see the guy in the red hood has the laser underneath her text block. I love mm -hmm. that he's like, he's got the sight on before he's even gonna fire, just like. <laughs> oh, oh, it's, yeah, no, see, it is the newspaper girl, because she's sitting behind Winston Payne and the chief prosecutor. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, here's the one I showed you before. This was right after the first gunshot. And immediately after that, the second gunshot rang out. And then... Uh, I got a photo of this guy's sweet ass. Yeah. Man, check it out. What is this? You can't really see much in this photo. After that last photo, one of the running guests knocked me down. It looks like the shutter clicked just then. This doesn't look too helpful, pal. It's a photo of Gumshoe. Well, those were all the photos I took. 
darn, if only there was something in one of these photos. I'd like to examine these in a bit more detail. Yeah, me too. Investigate which photo? Um, before the incident. Where can the light from the laser pointer be seen? This is ridiculous. I found it. <laughs> what? Also, a red hoodie? Like, like no, this is not a joke. Is she actually trying to be captured? Is that part of, like, the thing? Because that, that is, mm. like, that is humorously conspicuous. I hope... <laughs> I hope her first mentor is secretly the main antagonist, Lotta Hart. <laughs> yes, that's mm. probably the light from the laser pointer. Then that red-hooded person would be the assassin. It's just like hey, my Batman comic. It's all thanks to me, right? Yeah, actually, you were very helpful. Give me credit, eat the credit. <laughs> As expected, the great thief has stolen the truth. <laughs> Perhaps the criminal can also be seen in the other photos. Let me examine these photos one more time. Investigate which photo? Eh, beep, 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 beep. Which photo? Where can the red hooded assassin be seen? Running toward the sunway. Ah, oh, there! Why did she stick around to help the investigation if she did it? Man, I really needed a newspaper article, so I decided to assassinate <laughs> the president! <laughs> Dear God, I hope that's the reasoning. The you know, they say yes. to start small, but I, I'm just not feeling it. It looks like they're escaping in the panic, sir. We can see the direction they ran in. Oh, the samurai dog banner. Oh, no. Right. The assassin escaped towards the right side of the audience. Detective Gumshoe! Got it, sir. We'll investigate the right side of the audience arena. I'm counting on you. I love you Salute. guys. <laughs> you guys you guys can't hear it, but during his salutes there's a really like meaty like <sniffs> Alright, let's let's not pretend this is like a spooky the red hooded assassin. Ooh. Since the park was sealed off, there's nowhere that Oh yeah, it's the it's the other side of her reversible jacket. Alright. If we follow their trail, we could definitely catch them. Man, I wonder where they are. Now then, let's continue with the investigation. Well, we'll definitely find some traces of the assassin. Hmm. 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 Oh, well. Let's go home. <laughs> hey, Nicole. Do you know who it is? Yeah, it's me. Ship. No. Okay. Guess I'll go back to eating peanut butter. Off the flag. The flag from the shooting booth? They had a shooting booth at a presidential landing? Where the fuck is this? It's supposed to be Japan. The crowd probably knocked it over. Judging from all the footprints on the flag, there must have been quite a panic. Do you know where you can buy these flags, sir? N no. Why do you want to know? Are you going to write gumshoe on the flag and carry it around with you? <laughs> Big yeah. How did you know, sir? <laughs> Don't tell me! Mr. Edgeworth, did you just read my mind? I, I am never gonna get over this gumshoe sprite. <laughs> <laughs> insert my- Me hungry, insert a rock, Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> I meant it as a- I meant it as a joke, though, for him to have actually thought that. Alright. Yeah, hi, is there any- I wanted to, Oh, can I, like, put any logic together, or- No, my two- Nope, alright. What- Are the- Do I have to connect Wait, these? Wait, try that. I swear to God. No. He was shot with a gun. No, that's ridiculous. The pieces don't fit together quite right. What we know is the assassin is wearing something red. But Mr. Edgeworth, thought you were in a red suit? Oh, oh no. God! Oh, God! It appears my programming must have gone haywire, even though I wasn't here. I shot him from a long distance, you see. It's a very good revolver. I won't rest until I've done the Edgeworth thing. Oh, here's a little red thing. Oh, it's his red mole! It's escaped! It's the red mole! <laughs> this could be related to the person in the red hood. Hmm. Well, nothing to see here. There's something red down there. 
<laughs> it's the president's blood. The assassin must have picked it up and hidden it here. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, please check underneath the food stall. Out. Something stuck down here. Let's see. It's a red raincoat. Could this be? The assassins! Oh, <laughs> It appears to uh, it appears that he got rid of his raincoat before he ran away. All right. Do I guess do I have any more information about the raincoat? No, it's a raincoat. It's Can I? the raincoat killer. I wasn't gonna say it. I wasn't either. <laughs> the left sleeve. There doesn't appear to be anything out of place. It's not turned inside out, and the button is still tightly in place. Even though it was thrown away, it looks a bit too clean. What? This sleeve. It's inside out. It's also missing a button. Why do I have to connect? What does this fucking matter? Gee, I wonder where the... Okay. The logic system's horrible. It's either way too obvious or, like, not even close to obvious. It looks like the fallen button came from the raincoat. It probably fell off when the assassin took off the raincoat. If you look closely, you can see that the right sleeve is inside out, sir. It appears they took it off in a hurry. The button was probably torn off. After shooting the president, the assassin disposed of the gun and the bag in the garbage bin. And then we took this fantastic photo of a butt. Then, during the panic, they moved from the left to the right side of the audience area. The bullet's trajectory led us to suspect someone who was on the left side of the audience area. My, my one gripe with this fan translation is they tend to reuse the exact same words in, like, sen like consecutive yeah. te sentences and text blocks, and it's really unnatural. Whoa. Oops. It's pretty good otherwise. The assassin then took off the raincoat and hid it under the stand. The assassin was in a hurry to remove the raincoat. And that's why there are signs that the right sleeve was hastily removed. It also explains why the button was torn off. If that's the case, why is the left sleeve not in the same state? Ah, that sleeve isn't inside out! On the contrary, the button is still tightly fixed. What do you mean, sir? What? To find the answer, we must examine this raincoat in detail. Yes, thank you for covering it in starch and now just rotate it. Oh, that's great, Gumshoe. <laughs> thank you. I do my best, sir. Good thing I have bags of starch on me at all times to fuel my golem core. <laughs> I I actually love the idea that they're a fucking robot and golem duo. <laughs> I like that a lot. The right sleeve. That's is why th that's why they're having to put together such obvious clues. <laughs> Cause like they're so they're fucking they're inanimate objects. <laughs> Okay. Oh, and you can see where the button's been torn off. I was drawing, I'm sorry. Indeed. <laughs> this raincoat must have been removed in a hurry. Someone's talking oh, we've about established this. Someone's talking about Chris Neosi in uh Mob Psycho, who does a fantastic job in that show. I got to get dinner with him last week. Nice. I mean Fancy. I don't know. Fancy. It's worth running on an older OS. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to investigate the inside of this raincoat. Detective Gumshoe! Got it! <laughs> Thank you for opening the raincoat! You can just hear, like, this as is, he turns it. This is a blood stain. Judging by the location, this is, they were trying to assassinate themselves! This is most likely the assassination, the assassin's own blood. Oh, sorry. So just, we're looking for someone who's injured, sir. Good, good job. I'm, I'm sorry I accidentally skipped over that. Not just any. It's no problem. Not just any injury, detective. An injury <laughs> on their left arm. Ooh, look, something red. What? It's some ketchupy. What do you mean, sir? Ketchupy. <laughs> the criminal. I hope that ketchup becomes important so I can say ketchupy in this case somewhere. <laughs> the criminal was in a hurry to take off their coat. That's why the right sleeve is inside out. On the other hand, the left sleeve remained unchanged. How did this difference arise? Quite simply, the assassin couldn't get his arm through the left sleeve. If you think of it like that, it all starts to add up. It wasn't a red mole at all. <laughs> the, it was the start of the red jacket coming out of the president's magic forehead. <laughs> Furthermore, a bloodstain was found on the left side of the raincoat. 
I see. He couldn't get his engine off to fit through the sleeve. Yes, indeed. I'd say the possibility is quite high. So that Dated means the assassin was the president. It's all, <laughs> it's all coming together. Investigation complete. Detective Gumshoe, I want you to pull our assassin out of the crowd. Roger that, sir. Someone with an injured left arm, right? No, there. She's behind us. All right. You must have had a good head on your shoulders if you did see through me, Mr. Prosecutor. Finding the assassin with only that much evidence shouldn't be a problem at all. Wait, did she just fucking say if you saw through me and then no yeah, one... I... What was that? Was was the localization team like, this is so obvious. They were just like, whatever. Just like, I'm the assassin. We need to find the assassin. No, Mr. Edgeworth, it's me. If only we could find someone with a wounded left arm. Stop. Not... Give me my credit. Not now, Nicole. With everyone in the park sealed in, the assassin should still be within the crowd. I'm counting on you, Detective Gumshoe. I found the rock and the pretty bird. <laughs> <laughs> I finished my starts. We're in dire straits. Mr. Edgeworth, we found a suspicious person in that condition, sir. That's gotta be the assassin. Okay, we haven't proven that this person is the assassin yet. For now, this is just a person of interest. Don't jump to conclusions. Jumping to conclusions is what will ruin you in this stupid game. Like, conclusions like, obviously the player would instantly assume that's a laser dot and not a fucking mole. There's no doubt that this guy, this is the guy who targeted the president, sir. Please be Winston Payne. It takes a daring person to target someone's life in front of an audience. Detective, bring him here. Courteously. I don't know what yes, that means. Yes, sir. Hey, you guys, bring him here. Is that uh, Shelly the killer? Goodness me. Where so, uh, is the, Pip when I need him? So th this guy is straight up a professional assassin. Uh, <laughs> so uh, he's like an older, like, he's a gentleman assassin. So savvy if you want to take this guy. Yes, absolutely. That's perfect. He's not carrying an umbrella and his left arm is bandaged. Why would he be? Okay. You there, state your name. My name is John. John Doe. That's an unusual name, and also an extremely lazy fake name, if I may say so myself. Let me turn Savvy up, because that's a quiet voice. All right. All right. That is correct. He shot the president with ice cream! <laughs> <laughs> this man. Wait, guys, look closer. That ice cream has, <laughs> has a, a red, red mole! mole. <laughs> this man. <laughs> Have I seen him somewhere before? Edgeworth, you were specifically on an investigation team to catch this man. And he's wearing his logo on his nipples. Come on, man. Prosecutor Edgeworth. You know my name? Yes. I've been observing your investigation. So I gotta say, I think you can make you can go ahead and make this guy British. He's an international character. Alright. Yes, I have been observing your investigation. May I ask you why you've called me here? We are searching for the assassin who attempted to murder the president. Do you recognize this red raincoat? I'm terribly sorry, but I'm afraid I do not. I believe that this raincoat belongs to the assassin. Oh my, that is terrible indeed. <laughs> I love his ice cream what? animation. What game are you That's playing, good. sir? This is dangerous. I don't even think he's the assassin. I think he's just hanging out. He's just here. Yeah. This person should also have a severe injury on the left side of their body, precisely like yours. I have no relation to this. Stare down! Mono a mono looks like they're firing laser beams out of their eyes. So, what happened next? Obviously a confrontation, pal! A battle of wits between two gentlemen! Ooh. Should, should I hear his explanation? Yeah, I'm gonna need to refute it. A witness might lie or misunderstand. If you find the contradiction in their statement, you present evidence, pal. Oh, good. The only fun part of this game. Present the... Unless you're fighting Quarkus Alba. Oh. And if you don't find a contradiction, what do you do then? At those times, you press the witness for more You mean like this? <laughs> yeah. You mean like Please this? Takes your bear trap that. off and puts it on Gumshoe's face. I... <laughs> 
I would love it if the like the the assassin just flat out tried to kill the president with a bear trap and like she just had one on her character design the entire time and it was still like oh. never anti shout outs to the DLC case from Spirit of Justice where the character just like obviously has an important piece of evidence on their person the entire time. All right, sir. Could you give us a demonstration, please? Go, Mr. Prosecutor. You're America's. What? <laughs> she just won't <laughs> quit. Mm. My testimony. I understand that the person in the raincoat is suspicious. However, that doesn't mean that he was injured. I don't suppose you have proof. Clearly, my left arm is injured, but I can still use my right arm. Okay. When it was raining, I used to use an umbrella. I have no use for a raincoat. What? Well, all right. You didn't wear a raincoat. That's your claim? Yes. Not everyone uses a raincoat for protection against the rain. I am an umbrella person, after all. Easier to kill people with the handle of an umbrella. You're definitely a raincoat person. Umbrellas will hinder, hinder your movement. Blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't use raincoats or umbrellas. I just get something wet like a pig in mud. Oh, well, I don't <laughs> use raincoats or umbrellas. I prefer guns with laser sights on them. <laughs> Come rain or snow, all I need is my trusty parka. Don't look at it. <laughs> this wasn't what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you understand. I am not the assassin. I like how he didn't say an assassin. Unfortunately... <laughs> Unfortunately, leaving a testimony unexamined goes against my principles. How troublesome. I am but a simple ice cream salesman. Oops! <laughs> Please excuse me. In the panic earlier, my wood seems to have reopened. Yes. Can we for that? There's... Yeah, that was that was really good. Thank you, Savvy. There is no mistake. Not a problem. There is no mis. I please do that every time that animation plays. <laughs> oh, I will. There is no mistaking that the owner of this raincoat is the assassin. Furthermore, the owner has an injured left arm. Mm. Oh, one second, Mr. Doe. I shall reveal your true colors for all to see. My only color here is ice cream. All right. Um, you don't have to read it again. It's the same dialogue. <laughs> yeah, this is probably the be I've only played the first Ace Attorney and this is probably the better part of the game. Oh yeah, no. The uh the investigation segments have always been really weak and they kind of just get rid of them for the most part in uh 5 and 6, which is why those are two of my favorite games. Mr. Doe. Yeah. I, I stepped away for half a second. What did I miss? Nothing. Uh nothing. Mr. Doe, you seem to be a very cautious person. However, today seems to be different because you left this behind. You must be mistaken. That does not belong to me. Or perhaps you have evidence that proves otherwise. Mr. Doe, is your injury all right? The wound seems to have opened. Indeed it is. <laughs> Quite troublesome. Yes, I'm sure it is. You have my deepest sympathies. After all, you would have escaped had your wounds not opened up. What do you mean? There is no mistaking that the one who wore this raincoat was injured. And now I can- Oh, and I can prove that person was you. With this! Well, clearly the forensics team is four inches- The ice cream sweats! <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> this guy's sprite work is fantastic. Yeah, very nice. On the inside of this raincoat, there is a small blood stain. It is the blood of the assassin! <laughs> <laughs> Attacking the president is a serious crime, pal! You'll cause an international incident! No matter how long you keep silent, your true nature will soon come to light. A blood test will settle this. The blood from the raincoat and the blood from your bandaged arm. <laughs> I have all the evidence I need. Why don't you just admit it? You're the assassin who attacked the president! I'm not the assassin. You don't know when to give up. If this was a game of chess, I would have already thrown my horsey at your tall man and destroyed him. <laughs> you would have been checkmated a long time ago. Admit your defeat gracefully. No. 
<clears throat> he seems completely unfazed. His, <laughs> that's the ice cream of Dorian Gray. It contains all his emotions. <laughs> I suppose I have no choice. I'll admit it. Indeed, the raincoat is mine. He confessed so! Arrest him! Arrest him! However, that does not mean I shot the president. But I did shoot the vice president. What's that, pal? But I did shoot vice president steel samurai balloon. Prosecutor Edgeworth, all you have proven is that I wore the raincoat. What sort of crime is that? I like that I have a fucking scar down the middle of my face to imply I've been cut in half. I am no yeah, assassin. Yeah, that's really metal. Can I get one of those? I Sure, uh, bang. Hold on, let me get my sword. I'm just a simple <laughs> ice cream salesman. All I did was put on the red raincoat and listen to the president's speech. It surprised me to see the bodyguards take action just before the gunshot rang out. Everyone in the audience immediately tried to escape, creating a state of panic. Are you satisfied this time? Okay. <laughs> Here, look at this guy in the red raincoat. That's gotta be the assassin. I see. That is certainly not me. I am taller than that. Where is his ice what? cream? Prosecutor Edgeworth, please consider this carefully. Was I really the only one who wore a red raincoat? Whether he was or not, the person in the photo can only be Mr. Doe. But why? But why? This man's self-confidence and intensity. <laughs> okay, um, I feel like it's something about the guards acting right before the... Mm. Mm. Also, didn't... Wait. Didn't he say he was an Umbrella Man before? Whatever. Yeah, no, he lied about that. Okay, it surprised me to see the bodyguards take action just before that. Let me, let me look. Because I don't, I don't think they did. Well, actually, the picture does kind of prove that because yeah. they were very clearly guarding the president as that's, he had a sight on his face. That's true. All right. Oh, right. You can press in this game. Forgot. So the bodyguards reacted before the gunshot went off. Yes. The bodyguards move first. The one, to, the one on the left side of the stage in particular. You saw it all quite clearly. I have good eyesight. The names are written on the upper left of the security plan. The bodyguard on the left side would be Mr. Rook. Yeah! That is correct. A Mr. Ethan Rook, I believe. All right, how would you know that? Perhaps he noticed the you light see, from the I laser pointer. I was here pointer. to assassinate a different person. <laughs> I, like, I genuinely <laughs> think that's what he's about. I'm sticking with the reporter as the killer. That man is no ordinary individual. From their actions, I don't believe that the bodyguards were amateurs. This man isn't an ordinary individual either. Please add that statement to your testimony. As you wish. Uh, well, I'd, I'd imagine it's... This is the only All thing right. that talks about the bodyguards. Um, yeah, I, I am going to emphasize, if the, if the fucking reason this guy's here is because he was assassinating someone else, that's actually hysterical and I love it. I, I genuinely think that's what was going on. Um, Rook takes Knightley's place. Knight takes Rook, but Rook will be a round gun. Um, in case the emergency, Knightley will lead the president inside the plane. I mean, like, I don't know why, but like, you think it would be this, right? Objection. Yeah. The music stopped. It's this one. Unless the game's getting tricky. It seems you aren't just a simple ice cream salesman after all. You think too highly of me, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Why would a simple ice cream salesman know the name of the president's bodyguard? Yeah, I, that was pretty stupid. The name of the bodyguard? Surely you jest. That's my son. We have the same hair, don't you? Know? <laughs> Didn't you say their names just a moment ago? After all, my full name is John Bishop Doe. Hmm. Mr. Knightley and Mr. Rook, correct. Objection! 
This is a diagram of the security plans. We learnt their names from this. However, please look. Only their surnames are written here. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> oh, shit. You distinctly oh, said fucker. Ethan Rook. How did you know his full name when we did not? That's pretty weird, sir. Why do you know his name? Explain yourself! That was merely a slip of the tongue. Come on, dude. It's Churl, the Kaiosi assassin. Young lady, you're being a little hasty. The reason I knew his name is quite simple. What? It's just my baby, my baby boy. I'm an acquaintance of Mr. Brooks. What? He and I have a bit of a connection. His is a name that I will never forget. Mr. Edgeworth, he's just being t t telling a big fat lie. This is not a lie. I am just a simple ice cream salesman. And an acquaintance of Ethan Rooks. Objection. I can, he's right over there. I can just go ask him. Hey, do you know this guy? Oh, uh, no, I don't. You see, look, look. Whether or not well, he... bugger, I'm out of here. Whether or not he's acquainted with this dubious ice cream salesman. As you wish. However, that may prove difficult now. He is currently busy with the present security after all. Besides, if I'm... Nah, even if I'm not an acquaintance of Mr. Brooks, does that not... Pr does that prove I fired the gun? Ah! I love American policy legal system. We can just make <laughs> shit up and not get arrested. If you aren't the assassin, then why did you remove your raincoat? It was a little hot, and the rain had stopped. I wanted to air out the wound. Is there a problem with that? Ugh, I just can't seem to corner him. Maybe if I punch him in his arm. Oh, Mr. Edgeworth, what are you doing? Hurry up and arrest him! That man's so suspicious, I even arrest him myself! Arrest him without evidence? How could I do such a thing? Come on, Mr. Edgeworth, can't you do something? Breaking news, the criminal is on the verge of escaping the prosecutor. Well, this isn't my job. I don't have any pressure, right to- Pressure, pressure, pressure! Oh dear, they're already treating me like a criminal. I understand. Since I've been suspected this far, it seems I will have to tell the truth. The truth? What is he up to? I saw, I, I saw another person wearing a red hood. What? What? Surely that was the person who was in the photo. I first noticed him right before the speech when it was still raining. He caught my eye because his raincoat was the same color as mine. In his hand, I saw a laser pointer with the light aimed directly at the president. It can't be. There was another person wearing a red hood? I'm not sure why I believe this, even though I as a player do. I knew that if I wore the red raincoat, I'd be mistaken for the assassin. That is why I took off the raincoat. Objection! Why didn't you fucking just bring that up immediately? You saw an assassin- scared. You saw an assassin- I have my ice cream to think of. You saw an assassin wearing the same color hood as yours? <laughs> Wouldn't that be a nice coincidence? That's what I expected you to say, which is why I did not testify as such. Prosecutors and the police are a suspicious lot. I knew that nobody would believe me. At the moment of the incident, the assassin was very close to the prosecutor. Prosecutor? I only arrived after the incident. Not you, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Talk about a fucking arrogant piece of shit, Jesus. That prosecutor over there. Huh? <laughs> me? Yes, you should be visible in that photo. Here, right in front of the person in the red hood. <laughs> oh, that's me, all right. Then what's your point? What's this man driving at? I have been observing your investigation this entire time, Prof Professor. Prosecutor Edgeworth. Thank you. And I have noticed something strange. Tell the professor! Hmm. It seems you still haven't noticed this contradiction yet. A contradiction? In, mm, that's not me at that's all. That's okay. In this photo, the people who can be seen are the chief, Mr. Payne, and the assassin. I don't see anything strange. Please think back carefully about the circumstances during the president's speech. 
I read that poorly. I believe you are holding the evidence that contradicts this photo. Do I have evidence that contradicts this photo? Save state. Yes! <laughs> it's the tape recorder! I would imagine. Like, I know that, but I feel like I'm ahead of the game. Oh, uh, Okay, no, it, they... I'll, I'll try it. Music didn't stop. What? It can't be. Oh, okay, maybe. There's a contradiction between the photo and the tape. That's not a contradiction. It's an observation. It seems you've noticed. How did you, Mr. Edgeworth, how what's did you going know? On? How did you, how do you how know the about fuck the tape? Did I know what was on there. Hey, maybe he just eavesdropped. Maybe he was listening. Oh, oh. There is a person missing from this photograph. Huh? What? Who, who is it? Yes. It's rather strange. Someone who should be there, but does not. The person who should be in this photo is Detective Dick Gumshoe. Age 32. I want to I see how old everyone is. President's 56. Looking pretty good for 58. Nicole. No, it's... Forehead. John Doe. Age question. I'm undead. Miss Swift? Why would you say that? Mr. Payne's voice was recorded on Miss Swift's tape. He was whispering quietly with the chief prosecutor. Those are from the folks standing in front of me. I reckon it was too old in there. They kept on whispering to each other. It seems Miss Swift was near Mr. Payne when she recorded the speech. Ah! Oh, but she isn't anywhere in the book! Like, she has to be trying to get caught, right? A laser yeah, sight, yeah, a red hood, literally recording the assassination. And then going, that Mr. Cool. Prosecutor, have you found anything? <laughs> Catch me, bitch. Now, Mr. Prosecutor, who is the one that you should be pursuing? <sighs> You're right. I should really ask right out on that date. Nicole Swift, would you mind giving us your testimony? Come on, it feels weird when you talk all formal like that. It's fine, I ain't got nothing to hide. John Doe was born as that ice cream cone. The man is being possessed. <laughs> this is phylactery. It ain't like I stayed in one spot while I was recording. I was moving around the audience area, shuffling here and there. God, I hope her bear trap snaps during her breakdown. Mm. That would be cool. I reckon this picture must have been snapped at a different time, my tape recording. So quit making that scary face. It ain't what you think. Miss Swift's tape recorded a conversation between my colleagues, Mr. Payne and the chief prosecutor. Why would Nicole be lying? That would mean... It didn't mean Nicole Swift is the assassin, pal! You gotta be kidding me, I ain't done nothing like that. Be that as it may, however, there is a contradiction in your testimony. Huh? Uh, I don't reckon so, no sir. It appears I must reveal this contradiction with evidence. <laughs> I can't believe Taylor Swift killed President Lysander. I imagine it's here. Okay. Bang, bang. No, okay. Yeah, that's that's not right. Uh, you shot me down. Bang, bang. I hit the ground. Bang, bang. This lady shot me down. Uh, I'm I'm not sure whether I should do the picture or the tape. I'll try the tape recorder. <laughs> you dumb bitch, Miss Swift. Hey now. A reporter, sh <laughs> a reporter shouldn't lie. Turns towards America. <laughs> I'm lying. I'm an honest journalist. Perhaps, but there's no denying that the photo and the recording were taken at the same time. No, I just That's had my own gun and shot it twice to fool you. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's true. That's so. And what makes you say that? The truth lies in these photos. This photo could only have been taken at the same time as your recording. Which spot shows that this was taken at the same time as the recording? 
is hey real real talk this means that she was narrating while assassinating the president that is hilarious i <laughs> is it i i don't it's the president's list fist oh thank you Can you see the president Why? with his fist? She she narrated it because she's an idiot. I, oh. So I was worried what it was. I, I still think this is stupid and an unnecessary step. What I was worried it was was Winston is leaning over and whispering. And it's just like, he's whispering in the photo instead of just, it's the fucking gunshots and it was taken at this moment. All right, whatever. What about it? Miss Swift, might we hear your tape one more time? Nuh uh, -uh. you ain't gonna hear a word while you've been treating me. Would you rather we charge you with an obstruction of justice and seize it from you? Fine, you win. I'm no met for you, Mr. Prosecutor. The question is during which part of his speech did the president raise his fist? What is. President, 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 president. Oh, right. No, you don't the have to read it. raises his fist in the air. The atmosphere is boiling to a fever pitch. Aha! Uh -huh. Raises his fist straight from the horse's mouth, sir. He can only Call do that. One more time and I'll kill you. You can only raise your fist once per speech. That's the rules. This tape was recorded <laughs> at the moment the president raised his fist overhead. Then that means... Nicole not being in this photo is really strange. Oh, but she is in the photo. Right here. The person in the red hood. It was you, Nicole Swift. <laughs> yeah! Yay! You're the real assassin, aren't you, pal? <laughs> that, that ain't so. I, 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 I never worn red raincoat. Hmm. The red, this red raincoat in question belongs to neither of them. Oh, no, it is John Doe. That, wait, what the fuck? Then... Who is it? Don't you get it? It can only belong to one person. I don't get it. Who is that person, sir? Uh, wait, I'd like to take back what I just said. <laughs> if I didn't know better, I'd say that this was your first day on the job, Mr. Pion. <laughs> Stop eating your ice cream mid-sentence. I should remember. Look, I know it's her fucking reversible jacket. Just let me get there. It's, all right, it's John Doe's. The raincoat's owner is Mr. Doe. That much has been proven. You are wearing something else. A different red hood. You mean there were two red hoodies, sir? Y yeah, remember? He he testified as such. Mr. Doe's last testimony was true. But you didn't find any other red raincoats. What Mr. Doe saw was a red hood, not a red raincoat. Miss Swift, what was it you told us earlier about your parka? Mm, oh, you mean when I said I ain't worried about getting all dirty? It's reversible, so I just gotta do is turn inside out and... <laughs> As I thought. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, the inside of a parka! Okay, <laughs> I don't know about your new voice change. <laughs> Indeed. My hair. I'm sorry. <laughs> Indeed, and during the incident, she was using that side. <laughs> hey, pal, that's a big idea. Wrong, and I've been wearing this like the whole day. Well then, will you allow me to examine your parka? What do you expect to find? We know it was a rain. Well, we know it was raining prior to the president's speech. I believe you said earlier. Well, I don't use raincoats or umbrellas. Come rain or snow, all I need is my trusty parka. You really are trying to get captured. Holy shit! If you really didn't turn your <laughs> parka. If you really didn't turn your parka inside out, then the inside should be dry. Hang on a minute, I ain't taking off this heavy backpack and put it back on again. Sorry, but can we do this another time? You think you can fool Mr. Edgeworth with that, pal? No, she has a point. <laughs> Absolved of all crimes because he didn't take off the backpack. All right then, pal. Is If we're really wrong, prove it. Show us the inside of your parka. It wasn't me, I ain't no assassin. Miss Swift, if you want me to believe that, then you need to cooperate with us. Will you please tell us why you, you wore the red side of the parka? I'm in love with Winston Payne and was eavesdropping. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. 
Mr. Prosecutor. I have my reasons. Honest. I'll tell you everything. Just quit bullying me. Can't tell if I'm my... homeless and I want three meals a day in prison. Can't tell if it's uh, my phone is off I or mean, it's Twitch. Like, honestly. Vi or if it's Twitch visual and audio aren't synced. Uh, I tend to go through the dialogue about 30% faster than we're actually talking so that the people on the slight delay on the Discord end can get their lines faster and just start reading them with no break in between. Mm. <gasps> <laughs> Who, whose voice was that? Please be the president. Oh, was there a voice? I didn't see it. Was, I didn't see it either. It, oh, it, it, it's a little too Hold early. On, three of us. Hold on Hold a sec. On. Hold on, it's a little too <laughs> early for the end game. game. It's the present. No, oh, it's this guy. All right. Oh, shit. I, sorry, oh. I'm, ta I'm, t I'm taking this guy. <laughs> yeah, go for it. <laughs> All right. Oh, good. Hey, you in the fancy suit. Haven't you been jumping the gun ever since your opening move? This man was in Kay's photo. Whoa, I guess I should introduce myself first. My name is. Fuka, 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 fuka. Revolver, everyone. Revolver, Ocelot, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Horace Knightley, the president's bodyguard. Second in command of his personal security unit. What a dude. Watch it, pal, that's not a toy. Oh, but it is a toy. Whoa, my bad. She just wants to come out and play. I can't seem to help it. Why do you have a gun if you're not a police officer? She's a lady of at this. I'm trying to like differentiate these two voices. She's a lady of Zeng Fa. Only the president's bodyguards are authorized to use it. Anyway, back to business. I've got some news for you. <laughs> There's good news and bad news. Which do you want to hear first? It makes no difference to me. Do as you wish. You sure? I'm giving you the first move. All right. It's a metaphor. I got you. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'll start off with my pawn. It seems you enjoy chess. You play too, <laughs> Mr. Fancy Suit? It's Edgeworth. And I do have a fondness for chess. Is that so? Well then, Chess Master Edgeworth, I'll start with the good news. The president's safe. Not even a scratch on him. His red mole is unharmed. Really? That's great, pal. It seems that the young lady was not a murderer after all. Good for you, Nicole. You didn't kill a man. So this guy put her up to it or something. Whoa there, don't forget, there's still the bad news. The president is safe because his bodyguards protected him. Actually, I had nothing to do with it. I was trying to kill him. It was the leader who protected him at the cost of his own life. Oh shit, what? That would be the other bodyguard. Rook, was it? Oh man, I really wanted to do the voice, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Rook died to protect the president. <laughs> what? Is that so? Rook is dead. What a shame. You are definitely here to assassinate him. <laughs> <laughs> that was the second gunshot. Yeah, yeah, it, he tried to get him. It means that the little lady killed him. My brother in arms. That ain't true. Whoa there! Pipe down! Okay, okay. Pipe right. down, little Miss Murderer! <laughs> Alright, I love him. I like him a lot. Jeez, even if we had to make a sacrifice to protect the king, it was a pretty bad move. That casting. Okay, that that castling. Sacri oh man, I didn't sacrifice. think I didn't think they'd no. literally pull a castle, okay. Sacrifices and castles? What's he talking about, sir? They're all chess terms. This game is dumb. He's saying Rook's life was exchanged for the president's. This guy sure talks funny, sir. Horace Knightley, was it? Hmm? What do you want? I'd like to examine the victim's body as soon as possible. And if it's possible, I'd like to question the president. Sorry, but I just killed the president. I can't <coughs> let you do that. What? Yeah, you're a prosecutor. You have no authority to do this. I got another piece it's of news. It's an international incident. We're gonna need to call in the dogs. I got another piece of news. Oh my god. Yeah, he's definitely gonna show up. Uh, and this one's a doozy. There's another piece of news. From here on out, this investigation will be handled by the Zhengfa police. What? That's completely reasonable. 
What's going on, pal? This case is under our jurisdiction. You have no right to interfere. You're Prosecutor Edgeworth, right? The President knows about you solving the Yatagarasu case. I'm honored. That's why the Chief Prosecutor design designated you to be in charge of the case. It seems the Chief Prosecutor made a little appeal to the President. But it looks like you're the wrong guy for the job. I didn't know you'd have this kind of reaction. It's the President's orders. If you oppose... What? If you oppose, you'll cause an international incident. Capiche? <sighs> hey, little lady, get over here. We'll continue your questioning inside the President's plane. No! I didn't do nothing! Hey now, don't be a baby! <laughs> You're scared of a little Zheng Fa justice? I'm scared of a gun, you freak! Mr. Prosecutor, please! Please help me! I'm afraid it's a legal move to give the knight a gun, Miss Swift. <laughs> it's, clear, oh, it's clear that Miss Swift was the person in the red hood. However, that doesn't mean that the whole truth has been revealed. Please believe me! Is it really alright for it to end this way? All I see is a girl with eyes full of fear, pleading for help. Certainly not someone who's committed a heinous crime. Well, I, that's, those aren't mutually exclusive. If I stand aside now and do nothing, the truth will be lost to the darkness! But we're probably gonna flash back to like six other cases before coming back to this one. Rico, that's the darkness. What? <laughs> what? What the? You? Oh hell yeah! Oh my god! Silence. What the is an <laughs> impolite way to greet someone? Your neck injury has yet to heal, and you've already forgotten. <laughs> no, not you. Not now. It seems you've remembered. Hey. What are you doing? Cut it up, pal! You've got some nerve to do that right in front of a detective and a prosecutor! S stop Stay out of this! He's out of your league! Mr. Doe, who on earth are you? I'm not... <laughs> I'm not merely a simple ice cream salesman. He, he's not merely a professional ice cream salesman! He's a professional assassin. His name is Shelly the Killer. Shelly to killer, it is frankly ridiculous that I didn't recognize him. You should be ashamed. There's no one in law enforcement who doesn't know the name to killer. An assassin who will carry out the, any requests without fail. He was once involved in a case I handled, and I'm very stupid. It's been a while, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Although, I do believe this is our first face to face. The real assassin was you all along. That is correct. I received a request from a key individual to take the president's life. I should have seen his face before in the case files. Yeah. Curses. <laughs> I was careless. I'm glad I hid a knife inside my bandage before I entered the park. Even though my calculations were a little off. A knife? What's that? Not a gun? Now, Mr. Knight. Shall we play a game? Shall we play that game you love so much? Of course, the stakes will be your life. <sighs> what are your demands? I want you to relinquish investigative authority back to Prosecutor Edgeworth. Investigative authority? What? What are you playing at? I simply want you to allow Edgeworth to continue his investigation. Huh? Why do you want that? Rook is an opponent who is connected to me by fate. I would like to discover the truth about his death. When that man died, the investigative authority was transferred to you. I am simply asking you to give it back to this prosecutor. With your life at stake, this really isn't the time to be stubborn. And Edgeworth wasn't a part of that case? Yeah, he was. He, he's, he's in that case. Why you? You're just using the investigation to get close to the president! And what if I am? Indeed, in order to continue the investigation, it is necessary that we enter the president's plane. As the leader of the president's bodyguards, I won't allow it! Oh, I thought you were only second in command. Now that Rook's gone, I'm in charge. 
I'm not sure if you're as capable as Rook was. What are you saying? I'm totally the leader now! <laughs> Very well. <laughs> stop, stop crying. You're, you're getting it from me. I just want to be leader! I want to be leader so bad! Gee, oh, I'm go oh god, I'm going to need some anti-rust after this. In that case, <laughs> please exercise judgment befitting of a leader. You can lose your life here needlessly. Or will you allow the investigation to continue? <clears throat> He's using the investigation as an excuse? Why would he go to all that trouble? What is this man thinking? Good read, me. <laughs> Prosecutor Edgeworth, I trust you have no objections. Let us continue the investigation. This case went from shitty to rad very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, what shall we do, sir? For now, we have no choice but to accept his proposal. At least we'll be able to investigate. But... Listen well, detective. I guess the case is over. I'll use Everyone died. I'll use the investigation to buy us time. Meanwhile, gather up all your men. Surround the president's plane so that he can't escape. Right. Roger that, sir. We'll kill the president before he can. No, gumshoot. No, come back, gumshoot. <laughs> 